I'm Ben Secundi. I grew up in Holland Beach since day one. My father and mother, they purchased the property in 1945 and they built the home in 1946, the year I was born. The house brings back so many fond memories as well as the beach. Uh, I come here religiously now that I'm retired almost every day. I'm a commissioner of planning and zoning as well as a docent for the Frederick Douglass Museum and Cultural Center. founded by Charles Raymond Douglas and his wife, Laura Douglas. Charles Douglas also was the son of the famous abolitionist Frederick Douglas in 1893. Charles Douglas and his wife, Laura, came to Bay Ridge, which was a fabulous summer resort, to eat a lunch. They were denied access, so they came across a bridge that connected from Bay Ridge to uh, some property that farmer Rashears had. They walked across the bridge property was for sale. So Charles and Laura Douglas bought the property and their vision was to have African Americans move to Highland Beach as a summer resort. Many African Americans didn't have property, beachfront property or resort property at all. And now Charles Douglas made it so that they could have beachfront property and resort property in Anne Arundel County. Okay, this is another uh, important home in Highland Beach. Uh, this used to be called the, the Bowen Cottage. Uh, quite a few notable stayed here, such as W.E.B. DeBose, Booker T. Washington, E. Franklin Frazier, Alex Haley, Paul Lawrence Dunbar. They all stayed here when they came to Highland Beach. And we were walking on the same roads that these notable people walked on. One thing I, I like about Highland Beach is I can reminisce, even though I wasn't during that time, but. This is so significant that these important people uh, walk these streets and it's had so much history, so much rich heritage here at Island Beach. In my generation, we, we just, it was, this was a sanctuary. Segregation existed, but we came here to Highland Beach to avoid segregation and this was a sanctuary for us. We had the hotel, we had the snack bar, um, 4th of July. Um, my Uncle Freeman would go to South Carolina and get the greatest fireworks you can buy and we should shoot them off down at the beach on 4th of July tonight. There was a pavilion where we saw movies every Saturday night. Uh, Labor Day, we had a field day which was just out of this world on Labor Day. They gave away ribbons and trophies, we had swimming, all kind of different activities on Labor Day. Uh, one thing I loved about Highland Beach growing up is crabbing. We used to crab all the time. There were so many crabs in the creek. And I remember I would crab with my brother and we would bring crabs home. My mother would say, don't you bring another crab in this house now? We used to have crabs all the time because it was free and, and we enjoyed crabbing. We did more crabbing than, than fishing. I always thought this was a summer wonderland, my friend. You know, a summer wonderland, Island Beach. I volunteer uh, as a docent at the Frederick Douglass Museum and Cultural Center. Charles Douglass designed this house for his father, Frederick Douglass, which is right over my shoulder. Uh, the house was completed in 1895. Frederick Douglass designed the home, the second level of the porch, so he could sit there and look over to the eastern shore to see where he was born a slave, but now a free man. Frederick Douglass um, is a very uh, notable person. He owned a newspaper called the North Star. He was an uh, uh, anti-slavery uh, orator. The mission statement is for one to know more about Frederick Douglass and his family, as well as to preserve the rich history of Highland Beach. Back in 1893, there were very few African Americans who had anything even close to Highland Beach. But uh, Charles Douglass opened uh, Highland Beach up to many African Americans to experience a great life growing up at Highland Beach. The history of Highland Beach is important to me because it's such a rich history with Charles Douglas and Frederick Douglass and, and all the notables who came here. I think we should carry that history on. Uh, I, I love the beach. I grew up from the beach. I grew up in the beach from day one. Um, and I want to preserve the rich history. Uh, and I hope that the young people will finally understand how significant it is Highland Beach for African Americans to have such a beautiful place 
back in 1893.